Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to play around, decorate pages, and the Hobonichi Techo Cousin Avec. This is the book from January to June and we are in June right now and I just got it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really start using the Hobonichi Cousin in July. But I'm going to use this book to test out some materials in here. I have some watercolor. This is the Daller Rowney brand. I got this from Walmart, so it's a cheap brand of watercolors. We're gonna try these out. I've heard that the Tomoe River paper can take watercolor and water-based media. So we're going to test that out today and see if that's true. And I also have some stickers and washi tape and things like that that we could use. Um, so yeah, we are just going to play around. I am going to do some journaling, so we are going to decorate pages that I'm going to journal in later if the pages turn out well if I'm able to write on them so we are going to flip to oh yeah the so previous week which was May 31st to June 6th I believe and I'm a little bit scared to use watercolor in here but I'm just gonna give it a go I'm just going to give it a try. And this was Memorial Day. So I think I'm going to use red. I have my watercolor here on the side. Let's see. I'll put it there. And we're just going to take... Let's see, where should I put this? Probably like right there. I should also mention that the brushes I'm using are from Michaels, but they're a cheap brand, so I'm using cheap materials, <laughs> which might become an issue, but we shall see. I'm also not good at watercoloring, so we'll see if I'm using the right process, because I think I use too much water up here. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then just spread it out. See how that works? Oh, I mentioned that I'm using cheap materials because the brush, like little hairs from the brush keeps getting stuck in the paint. So we will let that dry. I wish I had one of those, um, I wish I had a hair dryer near me. That would work. But I don't. So we will let that dry. I think I used too much water. <laughs> oh well. Although, like it's warping a lot, but it's not really soaking through as much as I thought it would. And I'm making a mess. Let's 
let's just fold this over. Oh, I kind of like that. It's drying pretty nicely. So then what I'm going to do is get some washi tape. So I have these red, white, and blue washi tapes that I'm going to use. This one, these two I got at Hobby Lobby. This is for July 4th, but it has the American flag on it. So I'm gonna use that to indicate that it was Memorial Day. And then I just have some red and blue washi. I have some white washi tape, but white washi tape ends up being clear when you put it down on the paper. So it doesn't really show up. So we are just going to use these. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, the flag is the first part of this washi tape, so we are going to cut this off because it says it has the flag, then it says July 4th, but this is for May 31st, Memorial Day. So we're going to cut this off. Let's see, how should I do this? And that peeled up the paper, so we're gonna leave it. So what I usually do in my journals is, I just like to play around. It's really just an excuse to put down stickers and washi tape, so I'm not precious about it. It looks kind of messy, but that's how I like it. So we are going to play around in here and let's see, that's off camera. So we have that, let's put down some red washi tape down here. with some blue. The paper isn't completely dry yet, so I probably shouldn't be putting this down, but I'm impatient, so. Then, Let's see, should I put down some blue? I'll just put down a little bit of blue. I hope I can write over this because this. Yeah, then I'll put down a little more of the red. Oh, that mixed and made purple. Let's try that again.
Should I do the whole page? I think we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's do the whole page. I'm debating whether or not I should get better paint brushes because these little hairs that keep falling out, it's kind of annoying, but I don't paint very often, so it can't really justify buying new paint brushes, new materials. So we have this, this is our Memorial Day spread. I have other stickers and things that I could use for this, but I think I'm going to leave this as is for now. It's still a little bit wet. And let's go to June. Yeah, this is so weird. The paper is thin, but it didn't really bleed through. You can tell it's wet from the other side and it's warped, but it's not like soaking through. That's so weird. So for this page, I'm thinking, let's see, we did red. I want to do red again but I want to use this washi tape that I got at Michael's. These two came together and these are red flowers. I think they're poppies, but I'm not sure. And this like um, paint swatch type of design. And because I still have all of this red here on my palette, I'm just gonna use more red, but I'm gonna use a different paintbrush and see how that works. And this one, I'm just going to put a little bit at the bottom. and maybe some at the top. Uh-oh. I just got red on all those pages. I think I might as well just go all the way around. This is so fun. So, uh, I don't really have much to talk about while I play with this, so how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Hopefully you have out your planning or journaling supplies and you are playing along with me with your supplies that you have. I have been wanting to have a Hobonichi, well, I wanted to have the Hobonichi cousin and the Hobonichi Weeks for so long. I've seen so many beautiful spreads on Instagram and YouTube and they just look so beautiful that 
I have been wanting this journal for a long time and I'm so glad that I finally have it. I really just wanted to try out the paper. And so far, the paper's living up to expectations. The test will be when it comes to writing. So, I probably shouldn't put paint down on all of these pages, but this washi tape is so pretty. That's a little bit too big. have this little piece left over, so let's just put this one. Right there. I think that's all I'm gonna do for this one. I was gonna use this washi tape, but I don't think it needs it. So, I need to look at my journal to see what happened these days. That's what I need to do. I also have these washi tapes. Oh, and I finally got, I think I showed this in my haul video, the Amazon haul video that I did. I finally got some grid washi so we could use some of these. Oh, and let me put those to the side. I got these stickers and let's go back to this page. I might put something on here. These are washi stickers that I got from Amazon. And let's see, these might not match for this one, but let's put some on this page. Let's go with red again, but only at the bottom. So we're just gonna put some here. And then, and we will put this sticker. I'm not sure how to get this off of this clear backing. This might be tricky. Let's try the tweezers. I think I almost got it. Yeah, this watercolor dries pretty quickly. I'm also trying not to put too much water down. So we're going to that on it like that looks so awesome should I put something at the top no I think I'll leave it like that so we have this one the only thing about the paper is that you can clearly see through to the other side but I love this. I like that sticker. Um, I'll just put a little bit here just to bring in some more color.
Now let's choose a different color. Oh, I could also put some of this washi tape. That would be too much. Let's do I just love this so much. Okay, we will do what happened on this day. I mean, I'm not really catering the color palettes to what happened, but use this one this washi tape right here it is floral it has yellow in it so we will use yellow again I'm not really good at watercolor so I don't really know how much water to use. I think I'm gonna do like I did on the other one, just go around the edges. This one, I might do the whole page. And then we can really see how it feels to write on a painted page. like that and then I have to add something to it so we're going to use the washi tape or should I just use one of these I'll use the washi tape here at the top. And then I could use those. I'm going to put these back into the little package because it has a key on the back of what stickers are in here and I don't want to get them all mixed up with the other packages so if 
I put this one here. I think that works. I'll just put this one down here. And then, could I use these two? Like this. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't really like the way the middle of this looks because I can see the strokes, but I don't really know what else to put there. And these, I might just use washi tape. So we have, let's see. I don't have a lot of washi tape near me, but, but I do have this one. And that tore. So let's cut a straight line in that. And I will just put it down here at the bottom. And at the top, we have this, not polka dot, but almost polka dot rainbow color and again I'm doing this kind of messy because I like my journal to look homemade to look like you know stuff just splattered down and it's fun so we have that but I also want to keep the day the date showing. So we're gonna leave it, leave this in the corner. And then Saturday, Sunday, let's see. What else do we have around here? We have this blue washi tape, let's use some of this. should be about here. And then at the top, we will use the teacups. I love this little, this washi tape, which just has blue and white teacups on it. I think it's so cute. Let's try to get all the teacups in there though. It's 
a little bit long. This is one of my favorite pages. I like the way this looks. And should we put some blue? I should have put some blue on here before I did that. I don't want to get too close to the washi tape because then it might come up. But I think that's enough decoration for that one. And what, what I'm doing with this, this is the first time that I'm using this Hobonichi Cousin effect. What I thought I would do is use it to journal, like a memory keeping type of deal, which is why I'm doing the pre, not the previous week, the current week. It is now Saturday the 5th. And my idea was to go back and journal for the previous days. And I have been keeping like a little, every day, I track what I do each day in my bullet journal. And I have a little journaling area at the bottom that I use, you know, as a gratitude or a little journaling area to keep track of important things. So I was going to use those to remind myself what I did on these days to go back and write about them. I'm going to do that for these pages that I decorated. But going forward, I think I might decorate way beforehand. I think I might decorate beforehand and then each day I can come back and write on the pages and that will probably be a better use of my time <laughs> because uh, having to go back and have enough to write to fill up this page might be difficult but if I do it daily it'll be easier to remember everything that I did that day. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write off camera and then I will come back, let you know my thoughts on writing on the Tumway River paper with the Pentel Energel pens. I have the 0.5 and the 0.3. I'm going to try both of these out on just the plain paper and on the painted areas. So I will let you know how that goes and I will be back in just a second. back I did the writing for a few days just to get a feel of what I liked what I didn't like so on this day this page had a lot of painting on it so I started out with the Pentel Energel 0.5 and I liked how smooth that wrote it did smear a little bit but it wasn't too bad it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be and then down here um, I switched to the point three, and I didn't like how thin the lines were. So on the next page, I kept using the point five. And as you can see, um, I only did it for a few days, but I did the front and back of this page. And you can see there's a lot of ghosting. You can see the writing from the next page through the lines, but I don't mind at all. 
I love how these pages turned out. Oh, I should also mention that I skipped a line because if I had written on like each line, the writing would be really cramped, I think. So I skipped a line in between, I skipped a row, a grid in between each written line. And I like how that turned out. So these are the pages that I did, May 31st, Memorial Day. Then June 1st, we have this red flower thing going on. And then June 2nd, and then I just have to go in and fill in for Thursday and Friday. And then today, which is Saturday, I will write in what happened today. And then I will decorate the rest of these pages in another video. I probably should have done Sunday in this video too, but I might just do that one off camera. But then for next week, I will definitely do a video for that. But that is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.